Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another video of Uta and Matt Cross with me. So we're gonna dive into a brand new event and we're gonna talk about how you can actually optimize yourself to play uh, this particular event. So let's take a look at the first thing first. Um, it's the event duration period. So as you can see, as I'm recording this, it has already gone into the seven day uh, remaining period. Uh, actually, this event started with an 8 day length period. So, this you've got 8 days to play. So, if you guys have missed out on the daily missions for the first day, I'm so sorry for you guys. You've already lost uh, 2200 Zodiac medals uh, just like that. So, I do apologize beforehand. I couldn't upload this video any faster because when this event was actually uh, starting out, um, I was actually working. So I couldn't put a video together until this point of time. So anyway guys, alright, uh, let's take a look at the missions. Alright, so under the missions, go to the event tab, tap the uh, event button. Of course, here we go. I've already cleared some of the missions because I've been playing, um, you know, while uh, the event is going on. I don't want to miss out any of the necessary resources, plus I had to play as quickly as possible so to get certain information out for you guys as well all right so first thing first let's take a look at the the the, the mission um that you need to clear throughout this event for uh earning the max amount of uh, zodiac medals that you can use for your zodiac exchange all right so the first two things that we want to talk about is the daily missions so let me scroll up to the daily missions here let's see how do you know which ones are the daily missions? Basically, they are the ones that's bracketed here, like this, this words here that says daily in Japanese. Now, there is two daily missions in this particular event, so make sure you clear them both. You don't want to waste 2,200 Zodiac Medals just like that. 2,200 Zodiac Medals is a lot for Zodiac Exchange, especially if you're planning to exchange all the um, six star episode plates that are available in the Zodiac Exchange. So as you can see, I've been racking up the Zodiac medals ever since the first event of this month. Um, this event is, take note, uh, the last event that you can actually obtain this version of the Zodiac medal. Um, you do not want to miss out on exchanging all the um, important resources that you actually can get from the Zodiac Exchange. Uh, sorry, not Zodiac Exchange, the Chaos Exchange. Anyways, so let's talk about the first uh, daily mission, which is this one, the first line. So basically, you just need to beat a rival and clear an event song. You obtain 1,200 Zodiac medals. The second daily mission, okay, um, beat five rivals and clear event songs. So uh, you just have to play the event songs and make sure you beat your opponents. As long as you play five of the event songs, you clear both of the daily missions uh, at one go. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, they're not very difficult to clear. So uh, please put in some effort to try and gain this 2200 Zodiac medals. Alright, so let's get on with the next one. Um, I'm going to go down all the way to the bottom so it's easier to explain. Alright, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch here which has the same Japanese text from here, the first one which starts with the number 10 all the way until the 25. Um, so yeah, the whole mission for this is basically very simple. You just have to beat a rival with uh, an event song, you know, with the number stated there. So you just have to clear 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. Yeah, that's pretty simple. All right, then moving on. Okay, so as you can see, it starts to have the, the event song name here, get it on, yeah. So um, basically what you see here is you need to get full combo for the difficulty that they have stated here in English. Alright, so it, the last one is definitely extreme which I can't clear because extreme for get it on is a level 25 difficulty song. My my capabilities only allow me to play extreme songs that are like level 21 to 23. 24, I struggle like crazy. 25 is definitely impossible. <laughs> so um, I'm skipping extreme for this event. Alright, so moving on. As you can see, it's still the event song, get it on. And of course, you see numbers now. Basically because all you need to do is you need to obtain the amount of score that they've stated here. 
So play the event song, get it on, get the amount of score. As you can see, it is not the last amount of score that you can obtain because there is one here that is hundred and uh, sorry, one million and two hundred thousand. Uh, there should be another one that is uh, one million four hundred thousand. Uh, I've yet to unlock it because currently my teams are set to earn um, reward points and not for high score. So we will talk about that further on later. Alright, so moving on below the um, daily missions, let's see, here we go, the next one. So, okay, this one is pretty simple. You just need to uh, select S difficulty or S rank rivals, beat them 10 times. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. Of course, the next few are even, <laughs> even <laughs> very, it's, it, it's, it's a lot easier for beginners on this one. So as long as you play the event regularly and you just keep choosing all the S rank, you should be able to cover all these uh, with no e no problem. You don't have to focus on trying to achieve it. Um, all right, so you just have to play the event song Planet Dance or Jirot, uh, Jiritic Beginner. I have a problem with pronouncing that. <laughs> Jiritic Beginner. <laughs> uh, so you just need to play the event songs as stated in the bracket, clear them five times. All right? You don't have to choose S rival um, opponents, but you know that's what I usually do. I just go for S uh, S rival opponents, and then just clear them off easily. Then of course there is the clearing um, three S rivals. So I, I'm not sure why they separated the the two. They normally they will like put them in order, but yeah. So it's three then ten. So. Of course, there is also the play the event song, get it on, and then clear five times. So this one will eventually clear on its own. Uh, there is no uh, need of clearing an S rival. Just clear, you know, the event song, play it as many times as they have stated here. All right. So as you can see, there are a few other missions here that I have not cleared. Basically, you play the event song and then um, you know clear it ten times. So I, as you can see, I have not played Get It On as much as I should because uh, most of the time, the songs that were selected with S Rivals are usually the other event songs. Uh, but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. The last one that I really need to explain. Um, basically, beat an, a rival opponent 30 times. So as long as you've been playing, well, this will automatically clear on its own. So as you can see, I've only played 28 songs in total for this event since the start. That's pretty okay. Alright, so that's pretty much all the information there is for missions. So let's get down to the event area and we're talking about the rewards boards. So let's go in. Uh, take a look at all the rewards. What's the fantastic stuff we can actually obtain uh, here. Alright, so let me introduce you all the important buttons within the event page itself first. If you guys are not familiar by now, let me explain to you guys for those who are just starting off with Utah Macross. So the top button here, it says Ranking. So you can just tap this, you can go in and you can see where you place yourself in the current rankings of the event. So as you can see, I am like placed 778. Um, now this ranking here is based off uh, a number that is not normally used uh, in other events uh, that rely on the point system. So this rank, this ranking here relies on the EX um, high score event. So yes, if you're not familiar with this event right now, as you can see on this board here, there's two sets of very large numbers. All right, so let me explain what these are. So the top one is your EX high score. Okay. So this number is a accumulation of three high scores of the three event songs available um, for this event. So if you tap this grey button here, which will show you all the scores for the three main songs that are used to tally up your EX high score. So as you can see the individual scores. And of course, the accumulated, then of course, your EX high score ranking. So I'm currently in the 778th place. Uh, as you can see, my high scores are pretty average on <laughs> the same few numbers. 
Um, because right now my plates are not set to fight for high score. Uh, in fact, they are just currently set up to earn um, points. So now, what are the points I'm talking about? Basically, these are the points that I'm talking about. Now, what do these points do? Basically, they help you unlock rewards. Okay, that is available in this tab. If you look at the right, under the ranking. So let's take a look at the, the rewards that is given. So this is what we call the reward board. Um, where you basically earn points for playing the event songs. Then as you obtain the amount of points to unlock the particular item, uh, you'll be given to you. So as you can see, let's scroll all the way down. Okay, the last item you can obtain is a whole bunch of Zodiac medals, okay, which is very crucial if you want to uh, uh, do Chaos Exchange for those free 6-star plates. Now, those 6-star plates are very important uh, in the long run. So if you are a free-to-play person, um, definitely aim for this. You have to work a bit harder than those who actually spend money into the game. Alright, so let's take a look. Right here, we need 300... Uh, not 300... 3,645,000 points to complete the entire reward board. As you can see right now, just from one day alone, I'm only, well, um, I would say one quarter. <laughs> maybe, maybe one quarter? No, one sixth. One sixth of the way to clearing the entire board. But don't worry, even though the points may seem like a lot, um, after I show you... Uh, my results for every some some of the lives um, you probably realize that actually earning the points isn't that difficult so okay so my suggestion to you guys okay is definitely to aim all the way to the last reward last reward but if you are feeling lazy here is my safe recommendation okay all you have to do is just aim for the last red box which is 1,110,000 points and then you can probably stop if you're feeling unmotivated to go further but you know of course if you wish to push yourself further the furthest I will ask you to go is up to this point because energy ethers are very very important for future events so what you need is 1,435,000 points. Alright, so that's all my suggestion there is for you guys on the rewards alone. Of course, we can take a look at the ranking rewards. This is the EX high score ranking rewards. Okay, so remember the placing that I just mentioned earlier. Alright, so look at the placing, then you will see where, what kind of rewards you will land uh, into getting. So as you can see, from the 501st to 1000 placing, this is what we will get. Now, do take note, this event, the very last event of the month, um, is the only event where you can obtain these lucky stones. Now, if you're not familiar with what these are, um, I have a video talking about lucky stones. You can take a look. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, yeah, so these are the only event. This is the only event, sorry, um, that you will only be able to obtain this free. Now, in the Chaos Exchange, if you have spent real life money buying singing stones, you are able to exchange for lucky stones in the Chaos Exchange. So, the only other way to obtain this is through spending real life cash. Right, so these are actually very important in terms of high score events because when you equip an uh, episode plate with secret bots unlocked and of course the luck, uh, the, the, how do you say, the, the luck, lucky leaf notes are unlocked through secret bots, um, you equip the luck stones into it to unlock special skills or bonus points for the episode plate. So it affects your high score at the end of each life. So very very important item. Make sure you get it out as much as you can. And of course the other thing that is very important is the episode plate that's given in the ranking itself. 
as you can see this event there is no six star episode plate is given to you but only the five stars which say it shows here is four stars because it's pre-evolved um but it's fine okay because um once you evolve it it becomes a five star anyway um right so let's calculate is this event actually worth rushing to get top 100 um well in a way yes in the long run it is very essential to get into top 100 for this but because there are so many whalers um, players who spend a lot of cash in japan um, this event is a no-go if you are a free to play uh, person so do not aim for top 100 in this event if you are a free to play person i only re highly recommend you to rush for top 100 and first 2000 placing so as long as you land between these two rankings you are pretty much okay now why do i say so in the normal rewards board here you will obtain five pieces of the five star episode plates so that's five from there then if you are between here the 100 to 500 and of course the 500 to 1000 if you gain the 7 plates from this ranking position, you will obtain a total of a plus 12. Alright, sorry, a plus 11 uh, episode plate um, for luck. And if you're under here, well, you've gotten yourself a plus 10. So, honestly speaking, a uh, plus 11 episode plate is, I would say, the average um luck on the episode plate that's given free through an event um it is definitely possible to get a plus 20 plus 25 or even a plus 30 uh, episode plate with luck um but that is if you've really been spending a lot of cash and have been having what most of the uta macross players been complaining about bad luck <laughs> from your gacha pools honestly speaking Having duplicates on a 5 star plate or a 6 star plate uh, is actually a very good thing. So uh, look at it in a positive way in the long run. Um, having luck on those episode plates is very crucial for the first event of the month, which is the ticketing event. So that's why I say don't, don't feel down when obtaining all these duplicates. Um, they are actually helping you in the long run. Alright, so that's pretty much all the recommendations I can have for you in terms of placing. So as long as you place between uh, top um, top 500 to top 1000, I think you're pretty okay. Um, this is the most average that any players can aim for um, in terms of this event. Because this event is really really uh, highly reliant on being a whaler. If you don't, if you're not familiar with the term whaler, basically it's a player who to tosses a lot of money into the game. All right, so let's. That's enough about the ranking itself. All right, so the other tabs is basically this tab here that leads you to the story of the event. You can re-watch the entire thing if you have not uh, uh, paid attention to it before. Um, then of course the shortcut to the mission tab, which is very helpful in case you wish to uh, get yourself a bit more organized on what you need to do then here this tab is very crucial for any of the event songs here so um, if you wish to check your idols proficiency uh, just tap on the button okay make sure you're on the song that you wish to check out let's say for example here right now I am on uh, the main event song, I'm tapping this, then it will show you the whole details where the song came from, which album you can find the song on. Uh, as you can see, uh, El Totime's face here, this is basically the album artwork. And if you tap the blue tab here, alright, it shows you the uh, your diva's proficiency and what level they are currently at. As you can see, I haven't really been playing much, so right now I've been um, leveling up uh, Milin, Basara and uh, Minmei. Yep, the rest of them are all still zero because I uh, haven't really gotten a lot of chance to play um, the main song under S rival ranking. So as you can see right now, it is under S rival ranking, but I'm short of energy to play, uh, which is fine. 
uh, eventually um, I'll get to it and level up at the entire set of divas at, to level 3. So if you're not familiar with either proficiency, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go check out my video on that as well. Okay, so let's talk about the class change. So as you can see at the top part here, this is your EX gauge that you need to fill up. Currently it's at 0 out of 100 energy. So I'm, I'm playing at level, uh, class 19, which is the most comfortable um, class that's for me. Because I can always beat my opponents, even at S rival ranking. So yeah. So if you need to clear missions uh, that require you to beat S rival rankings, make sure you choose a class that is definitely uh, possible for you to beat them, no matter uh, how poor your episode plate conditions are. All right. So how do you change your class rival, or rather your class? Well, this blue button at the top here. Tap it. It will give you a warning. That says that if you change your class right now, all the energy that you have stored up here will be lost. So make sure you only change your class when you have used up the entire gauge. Okay, so I'm gonna click OK. As you can see, I've already unlocked up to class 22, which is impossible because the EX rival score is gonna be insane. So in order for me to unlock class 23, I need to obtain uh, EX Battle High Score of uh, 1,600,000 or more. So eventually this will be unlocked. But you know, considering my condition for my yellow plates, it is not fantastic. So I'm definitely not trying to push myself higher to gain, to get, uh, get you know, uh, more stress from competing against difficult opponents. I can play class 20, but I am not able to beat the EX uh, rivals score uh, with my current conditions of my episode plates. So I'm sticking with class 19 which is the most comfortable uh, set of opponents. So yeah just tap and choose then here you go you will change your EX rivals. Oh change the <laughs> S oh dear <laughs> to a different song. Okay that's fine. <laughs> hey guys, hopefully um, all the informations here for the buttons are uh, useful for you guys. Alright, so we're going to talk about this tab here. Under, If you've entered the event for the first time, you will see this whole set of um, event descriptions in Japanese. So we're going to talk about it um, on certain pages. But the most important one I'm going to talk about is this one here. Okay, so basically, if you're not familiar with this event, you're playing against a uh, stored data of another player, uh, rather ghost. If most of you guys who are arcade players, you probably know the term ghost. So basically, it is a recorded data of another person's play. You're going to go up against it, and then of course, you're going to try and beat their score. So... When you're playing the event song, I will have a short clip that's going to play uh, about now. Um, they, will sh they will have the diva's face um, shine brightly. If let's say for example you have your center diva um, set to perform at the background, you will have uh, whichever diva you have set, the face lo icon light up. When it's lit up on your side, it means you are actually a hit in terms of high score. But if you're, if the other divas face is lit up basically means you are lacking in terms of high score so that's pretty uh, awesome that they have implemented this um, into the game it helps players to keep track of how much effort they have to put into focusing to get all the perfect and extreme touches uh, needed to beat their opponents all right so let's move on to the next tab okay so as you can see why I have been talking about um, always choosing S rival um, opponents to beat? Well, basically because it is the rank or rather the difficulty that gives the most amount of points at the end of a life and of course the most amount of energy that is needed to charge your EX gauge. Now I'll talk about the EX gauge in a moment, so let's just move on. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys my own personal high scores 
or rather the scores uh, I've obtained um, then you can see for yourself how it is gauged basically if you take a look at the top it says that score in Japanese so that score is based off your live performance now if your if your divas are set up like mine to obtain points for the reward boards your score is definitely gonna be not at its um, maximum capacity um, so I will have another video in another 24 hours that will be coming up to the channel uh, do take note of that it's gonna explain how you can optimize your diva setup to aim for the best high score possible it's not necessary um, to use that um, ideology for just events but it can be used in terms for your normal event uh, sorry normal play on normal songs because if you want to have your player ranking increase you need to have good high scores on those songs as well okay so if you look at the second row um, it states that there is a bonus all right because of your player class so um, if you choose a class that is um, of a higher level you definitely be gaining more points from there but that is if you are able to beat your opponents now that's why I say if you are un un unable to beat uh, a class difficulty make sure you choose the one before it so that at least you will guarantee yourself a hundred percent rate of beating your opponents and getting the best optimized score possible um, throughout the entire event so that is my recommendation to you guys okay so from looking here uh, you do take note that the bonus plates that you equip to your divas um, while playing the lives do not affect the EX battle high score so the 5% bonuses you gain from those plates are uh, mainly just to help you obtain more points for your reward boards that's pretty much it so that's why I say there is a different setup for aiming to get high score uh, in such e such cases so uh, do look out for the video that's coming up uh, within the next 24 hours or so all right so on to the next page here um, basically there is a EX battle difficulty or a challenge that is set to this event um, as you can see here it's in Japanese I'll bring up the page that shows the actual flashing or rather the short clip uh, that shows the flashing and details of the uh, EX Battle Challenge. Um, so basically, it says here, um, your soul, your total soul, or rather your 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 diva unit soul is decreased by thirty percent down, and then your your unit's charm is increased by thirty percent up. So you you might want to focus on boosting charm. Or if you wish to have your soul balanced up, you might have to set your episode plates to boost soul. But in the end, it's still going to have 30% cut. So, I highly do not recommend um, trying to recover that 30% loss in soul. Rather, I'd rather have you focus on uh, another setup um, to boost charm. Because uh, actually, <laughs> charm is one of the points that actually help you uh, gain a good high score in the uh, life itself all right guys so let's move on to the next one okay so enough of all these panels all right guys so we're gonna dive into the diva setup right now i'm gonna show you guys the most efficient way or the lazy man's way of setting up your diva um especially if you don't have time to manually set up your divas um, which is kind of crucial in a way but you know if you're just playing casually this is probably the best way you can set up your diva so here we go okay so as you can see I already brought out my get it on set of divas so basically they are all built in a way to earn the best amount of uh, event points as possible um, it is not to fight against EX high score battle but they do do the same thing as well but not obtaining the best possible score so as you can see i've gone gotten a plus 10 percent bonus because well i did not equip the uh episode plate onto these guys because well um 
none of them are able to well equip that episode plate with its effect in play. So okay, I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can set up your diva um, the most efficient way and the most lazy way possible um, and still obtain the best amount of points you can obtain at the end of uh, life. So guys, um, okay, pull out the divas that you wish to have um, used in the song. So of course, just tap, tap, choose the divas that you want to choose. Okay, then after that, touch the auto arrange button. Okay, it shows here that you already set up to have all the yellow plates equipped onto them. You can set them all to have the highest amount of total score possible. Or you can have them set for soul, voice, charm, life, support, fold. Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with all these, please take note of my upcoming video. I'll explain all this as well. Or you can set up uh, to, to get a lot of luck. So, in terms of high score events, I would rec highly recommend Total. So, select Total. Then they will rearrange all the plates to have the best total score. As you can see, none of the bonus plates appear. Okay, so that's where we step in slightly putting in a bit more effort. We're gonna change the lowest denominators of episode plates. As you can see there's a number here, it says 252. That is the total score on the episode plate. So of course we're gonna remove all the low total score plates. I'm gonna change them and we're gonna select this tab here that says episode bonus. So it will show us all the episode plates that gives the plus 5% bonus to gain the extra amount of points for the reward board. So we're gonna select, let's say for here, make sure when you choose the episode plate, the divas are able to use the effects of the life skill because the life skill is a very crucial thing in, in the long run. So let's select, I think this is the one, no. Is this the one? Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna choose uh, this Ranka plate Okay, it will again give us the 5% bonus as you can see. So we're gonna choose another one. So I think Basara is the one that's gonna equip it. So here we go. As you can see, the life skill is activated. So we're gonna equip Basara. So as you can see, this is probably the best setup I can have. Um, there is another bonus plate. Let me see. Yeah, I mean make it equip it. So let's let's just show you. Alright, so now I'm gonna show you. The difference between automated setup team and a manual setup team. So if I compare to my build of Get It On, all right, so you can see the top one is the one that we're currently holding, and the bottom one is the one that I manually set up. So the green marker here, the amount of points that you probably might obtain is better, but in terms of total score, you can see. My method manual setup is actually better than the auto setup um, just by a bit. So this is the lazy man's way of setting up or this is the manual way of setting up. Even though the points here is lacking because I did not equip one plus five bonus episode plate but you can see the, the difference is quite close. Sometimes it is better to not have uh, a plate, a bonus plate equipped because um, the life skill is actually not activated but now that I know that Min Mei is, pos is able to equip this plate um, I probably might amend my manual setup team later on after this recording of the video <laughs> to make it a bit better so <laughs> anyways guys um, this is the lazy method of um, well, setting up your divas to gain the best amount of points at the end of a life so I'll show you guys here a screenshot of um, what I was able to obtain um, to one of the lives, uh, the points, yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is basically the episode plates in, that is given in the event. So let's take a look at this episode plate. Um, do take note, my episode plate for this event is not fully powered up as you can see it's only a level 66 um, the best is a level 70 for a five star so if you take a look at the board itself 
yeah you can see that it's not completed because i ran out of resources so yeah do pardon me on that so i can't give you a full extreme breakdown on whether the total score for this play is uh, a good amount or not but let's talk about the skills on this episode plate the center skill for this episode plate basically the unit's support gains 7% up so yeah support basically is like your um, your skills like your recovery skills and all this basically that's what it means um, yeah so you will gain a 7% boost in terms of recovery so its active skill is uh, you recover 20% of your life back so plus that additional 7% uh, that's pretty helpful so it becomes a very useful healing plate alright so it's life skill at the start of 15 seconds okay it lasts for 8 seconds your score will gain a 16% up so this plate is a score boosting plate as a life skill plate so if you're not familiar Live skill plates is basically all the other plates here except this one. So the center diva's first plate is what we call the active plate. Um, the rest are all live skill plates. So with that in mind, I will explain more in the upcoming video on how to set up your divas at its best. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I have for you on the information for this event. Um, let's just go into the gacha page right now because I'm going to explain the current gacha's main plate and its skills. I'm not doing a full gacha pool as always if it's not Ranka. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just show you guys uh, one episode plate pool, a solo pool and I'm going to explain to you guys what this new Cheryl Gnome plate does. So as you can see, it's already on its evolved form. This is the pre-evolution form. It's 5 star version. Then of course, there is the... Whoops. Come on, give it to me. Yeah. Then it's evolved version. So we're going to tap and check the evolved version skills. Um, Alright, so this plate can be equipped by 4 divas. Alright. And it's active skill. For 7 seconds, your combo do not break. So, it's probably useful for this current event because the notes for the extreme is extremely difficult. <laughs> okay, so it's life skill. Alright, at the beginning of 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score will gain 80% up. So, as a life plate, this plate is very, very useful. Um, Probably might want to try and get this plate uh, if you've got uh, not as many powerful yellow star episode plates. So that's my recommendation to you guys. And here we go. Why this plate is very important because of this. Okay, so not many episode plates have this set of skills, which is to allow notes in a life to gain extra amount of these crystals so like Kaname's episode plate this is the first divas plate other than uh, those given in events um, this is the first that is not a blue that has this icon attached normally episode plates that are blue in color will have this and there are not many of them most of the plates all belong to Kaname-san so, um, when you play a live with this episode plate equipped to one of your divas, you will have a chance to obtain one more note that has this blue crystal, or rather green, depends on what color you want to call it, um, which allows you to obtain one extra item from the entire life. So let's say for example, on very hard, the max amount of items you can get is actually 46. But if you have your item boosted, you might get 47, 48, depending on your total amount of item boost points that you've gotten from your whole diva setup. So this episode play is very crucial for one event, which is the first event of the month, the ticketing event. So <laughs> that in mind, um, if you can try to obtain this plate, 
please try and obtain this plate. So, hmm, now I'm considering whether to actually do a pull for this. <laughs> uh, but I really want uh, Ranka's plate that might come out uh, in the later half of this event. Um, because I really want Ranka's Fire Bomber 7 costume. It's so cute. Yeah, if you look at it, there she is. <laughs> so, I really want Ranka in this costume. <laughs> okay. So, if you can try and obtain this plate, try and obtain this plate. This is definitely a plate that is very, very useful. Uh, so, here we go, guys. I'm gonna, just going to do a single pull for uh, Cheryl Nong's plate. Hopefully, we'll get something nice. Okay, we got a dot. <laughs> Nothing useful. Oh well, no luck with single pools. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much all the information I have for you guys for this event. Um, like I said, um, just do your best with the most uh, optimal play that you can achieve. Um, yeah, and hopefully you do better uh, in the next few events that to come. If you didn't do so well this event, don't worry. Make sure you learn from your mistakes and hopefully apply them in the next upcoming event in the next month. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I wish you guys all the best for your events and gacha pools. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!